is the Blue Beetle. Welcome to the Complete Story Series, where I take trade paperbacks and single issues and I break them down and then I just want my help you understand. That I read is dramatically back to you. All alterations of the panels, text, and images are to prevent copyright problems and all art is owned by its respective companies. This is a rebirth, a DC rebirth. It is not a reboot, it is a new status quo as DC brings back the things that you loved about your favorite superheroes and puts them back into an existing timeline. We're going to be showcasing select issues of the rebirth to let you know the starting points for these series. Each of these rebirth comics is continued in the mainline book of the same name. This is Blue Beetle Rebirth. Jaime Reyes leads a typical life, one with both his parents and a sister who finds him disgusting. He walks out of his house to the sight of two of his friends, and all three of them begin to walk to school debating on what the term bless you means, and if it could be potentially offensive. They are just three typical kids until Jaime gets a phone call from Ted Cord of Cord Industries. Jaime tries to tell him that he's going to be late for school again if he does anything with Ted, but Ted doesn't care and he informs Jaime, I'll just write you a note, now get moving, I need you. Jaime continues to try and argue because he really needs to get to school, but Ted tells him that there's a problem downtown. Jaime asks him how he knows about this, and Ted explains that he has a police scanner in their new mobile beetle base. It's like their bat cave. Oh, and the villains have outright called the blue beetle out. Sounds like your old foes are calling you out, Jaime. And Jaime informs him that he has no old foes. Ted, getting irritated, starts to talk to him about it, and then eventually he decides he'll just take the beetle base and go do this on his own. Well, of course, Jaime isn't gonna let regular old Ted Cord stop this, so he tells his friends to make up an excuse for him and he activates the scarab on his back. It wraps around his body and it changes him into the blue beetle before he takes off into the sky. Over at the Sun Dollar coffee stand, cars are wrecked and light poles are bent as the villains are holding hostages while drinking a cup of coffee. Ted brings the Blue Beetle base over to the coffee shop and they point out that these villains wrote Bring Blue Beetle into the cement and they misspelled Beetle with B-E-T-L-E. Jaime leaps out asking Ted, what should I do? Just walk over there and Ted cuts him off telling him, sounds like a plan. But Jaime can't help but think, says the guy safely in the giant bug. He walks in the hole that the villains created asking, what's up? And they respond by hitting the hostages. Ted sees this telling him, kid, what are you waiting for, an invitation? Get in there. And that's when the villains throw a fridge at Jaime. They then grab him from behind, so the scarab lets out a jolt, throwing the yellow villain into the sky. The purple one grabs Jaime by the throat and begins to strangle him, asking him, is this it? Because this is simple. Realizing Jaime is dying, the scarab overrides his commands to keep it simple. And it forms a gun on his hand and it opens fire on the purple guy, throwing him into the ground, which knocks a wall over and the wall is about to fall on the hostages. Luckily, Jaime creates beetle wings on his back to catch the falling rubble and the hostages run free. Then, yellow and purple each grab an arm and try to pull Jaime apart, so he throws him into the ground so hard that he breaks apart, showing that they were robots? At first, Jaime begins to feel bad, but then the pieces begin to fight against him. Random hands, arms, and chunks of some guy's chest. So he forms a mace on his hand and he smashes them into even smaller pieces until the random hands and feet become too much. Realizing the kid is in trouble, Ted activates the mobile beetle's offensive capabilities, blowing up the rest of the building. The villains see that Jaime isn't alone, so they make a quick getaway. And Jaime tells Ted, I'm fine, I made it. The two of them head back to Cord Industries to talk about Jaime's future as a superhero, one called the Blue Beetle, except that Jaime doesn't want it. He wants the scarab removed from his back, and he tells Ted to help him in doing that. But Ted would rather make superhero gadgets and make them both superheroes. Jaime tries to tell him again that he doesn't want to play Batman and Robin, but Ted isn't listening as Jaime leaves. Once he's alone, a puff of smoke happens and a bit of magic appears in the air. As Dr. Fate walks into the lab to inform Ted that the scarab that he thinks is alien isn't alien. It's a magical scarab, and if they're going to explore what it is, they're gonna need Dr. Fate's help. Now this starts the whole Blue Beetle thing completely over again, but hopefully we'll get a much better storyline with Blue Beetle that people actually enjoy and they buy and the story keeps going. Let me know what you think of Blue Beetle in the comments down below, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Comic Story, and I'll see you next time right here.